today's lazy episode video, we broke out the Dutch oven that we're going to cook over the fire. We'll see how this goes. If you like our videos, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell. Thank you. So tonight, we're going old school. We're bringing it out, cooking over fire tonight. We're going to throw out the Dutch oven, and we're going to make some chili mac. At the moment, we have some Italian sausage. You can also use hamburger, whatever you want. Turkey burger, if you're one of those weird people that like turkey burger. Um, anyway, so we have to, in there cooking. We're going to put some onions and peppers. Yeah, it's hot. What we want to do right now is just brown brown the meat. Advantage of cooking over fire, you get fine straw. In case you're wondering, this giant pot is called a Dutch oven. Um, you can use it over a fire, you can put fire on top of it, you can cook pizza, bread, cobbler, desserts, all kinds of different things in it over a fire. If you do make this one, I suggest doing it somewhere cool. We're up in the mountains this weekend for Labor Day at Lake Powahatan. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Let me know because I'm taking my best guess. Let that simmer for a little bit. Now that I've cooled off and can get back by the fire, add some Worcestershire sauce. Garlic powder. Oh wait, it's a brand new garlic powder. Okay, a lot of garlic powder. And some red pepper flakes. Kind of give the meat some seasoning while it cooks. Stir it all up and get it happy. Okay. So normally I would put a box of macaroni, but this is a two pound box. So I'm going to try to get half of it. And then one giant can of Rotel. Then shift it. Did you put chili powder in there? Uh, no. Okay. You want to add it to me? I can. How do you have chili without chili powder? Hopefully, some beef stock enough that will cover up the macaroni noodles. If not, we'll have to get some water. I feel bad. Mm. Uh -oh. 
and then some chili powder, which now has a broken lid. Stir all this up. And simmer until the macaroni is done. So while it's cooking, you want to make sure to stir it every so often. And another good thing about the Rotel can is it can be a lid holder. Now normally, I would wait for the fire to get down much lower than it is and cook on the coals. But it's getting dark and we're trying to film. And I'm also hungry, so we're going to deal with it being hot. That glove doesn't go in that hand either. So hopefully you can see in the pot and see that it is boiling. Make sure when you're stirring you get the stuff off the bottom because it will burn and stick to the pan. As you see, it's coming along. And now, for our reveal. Show that beautiful Chili Mac footage! I now can you can see, see that it's, it's still boiling, so it's still good and hot. Mm. The noodles are done. And we're sweating from standing here. So, dinner is ready. Put it in the bowl, put it, some cheese on it, and it's good to go. I also do suggest waiting for it to cool down. Yeah.